It's City News everywhere. A day after two Edmonton police officers were killed in the line of duty, and neighbors at this West Edmonton apartment complex are coming to grips with the tragedy happening on their doorstep. Friday morning, police tape still guarding the scene as forensics and investigators worked inside the building. Neighbors in the West Side apartment complex shaken by the killings early Thursday morning. Edmonton police releasing new details Friday afternoon in the deaths of Constables Travis Jordan and Brett Ryan. They responded to a family dispute call just before 1 a.m. Thursday with no indication or warning there was a gun in the house. When the two officers arrived, they were met by a 55-year-old female complainant outside of the building. The two officers then responded to the suite where she lived, along with her 73-year-old male partner and her 16-year-old son. Immediately upon arriving outside the suite, both constables were shot multiple times by the 16-year-old male and were immediately incapacitated. Police say after that, the mother and son struggled over the weapon. The mother was shot. The 16-year-old then turned the gun on himself. Neither officer made it into the apartment or fired their weapon. The 73-year-old father was unharmed and is cooperating with the investigation. The mother is currently unresponsive in hospital. Early into the investigation, police wouldn't say how or where the 16-year-old obtained the gun or whether it was used in any other crimes. They add that he was known to police but not in a criminal manner. Just across Across the street from the apartment complex, another shooting earlier in the week sending an employee of this Pizza Hut to hospital in critical condition. The manager telling me the employee is on the mend. Police are investigating whether the two incidences are linked. Certainly geographical location, uh, you know, the way those offenses were committed, the fact that a firearm is used in both instances, certainly uh, we're live to that. It's certainly being investigated, but unfortunately we still don't know. The youth did not have a criminal record. Um, the dealings that he did have with police in the past were all non-criminal in nature. Police say funeral procession details will be made public soon. For now, one neighbor at the complex telling me she's keeping the mother in her thoughts, saying she's a victim too. It's very scary and devastating that two police officers had to lose their lives. Um, my heart goes out to the victim in the hospital. What about her? Is anybody going to help her if she does recover from this? Reporting from Edmonton, Darcy Ropchan, City News.